Hey friends, it's Don. I'm back with another Apple shortcut to share that I know will make your one wheel rides better. This one I call one wheel menu and it pulls together all those little things you like to do before your ride begins. You might want to pick some music, pair your AirPods, or pick a place to go and get bike path directions. I've centralized all this in one shortcut and I actually launched it using NFC. In this video I'll show you how to build this step by step but if you're not really into that you can download the shortcut in the description but I'll also link to the NFC tags that I stuck on my fender to make it really easy to launch this shortcut quickly. I'm really excited for this one Let's get started. First step, open the Apple Shortcuts app and let's choose Create Shortcut. We can name our shortcut by using the three dots in the upper right and I'll call this OW Menu. Show and widget, I'll leave selected. Let's hit Done. And we'll add our first action, which is Choose From Menu. I'll just search for it. Okay. Here's where we give ourselves the options uh, for what we'll want to do in our One Wheel Menu app. For the sake of the video, I'll just add a few options that are common. First one, open One Wheel app. And the second one, let's do play new music mix. Let's make a third. We'll do pair AirPods. And the fourth one, get bike path directions. Okay, I'll start there and let's start to fill these out. So under the header for open one wheel app, I'll add another action called open app. Drag that in, okay. Which app do we want to open? We want to open One Wheel. Okay, next one, play new music mix. For that, I'll add an action for music that's just called play music. Drag that in. And I'll click where it says music. Choose for you. And then new music mix. I'll hit the plus to add it. This one's updated every Friday, so I'll get some fresh music every, every week, which is pretty neat. Uh, what I'll need to do after this is actually open the music app. And I'll tell you why in just a bit. Uh, basically, we're going to end up building a loop to allow you to do maybe one action and then come back to do the next action. So after I've paired my board with the One Wheel app, maybe after that I want to play music and maybe after that I want to get directions. So I'll show you how to loop this shortcut so you can do those things. Okay, so I'm adding another action after this that says open app. And in this case, we're opening the music app. Good. Pair AirPods, let's do this one. For this, we're going to search for set playback destination. And I'll drag that into place. I'll click where it says iPad. And if AirPods don't pop up, then just open the case and then they should appear on the screen. I'll click it. 
Now for this one, it doesn't take us out of the shortcuts app and that creates some issues with the looping that I described that we'll wanna do. So I'll actually add the loop into the step for pairing the AirPods. Let me show you how that works. In this case, I think pairing will take about three seconds. So I'll add a wait action. We'll count up to three. And then after that, we're going to run the same one wheel menu that we're actually working on now. So I'll search for run shortcut action and I'll put that here and we're going to run OW menu. Good. For get bike path directions, I'll lean on the shortcut I already made for my first shortcuts video and I'll put a card here so you can watch that and uh, get a refresher. But that step is just to run that shortcut. that in here under that heading and we're running let's float okay all right so after you've selected a menu option it will run whatever's inside of that menu block and when it's finished it goes to whatever comes after end menu. Okay, so we're gonna set this up so it runs in a loop, but I want to give the user enough time to do whatever they need to do in their other app. For example, pair their board using the one wheel app. And after that pairing is complete, shortcuts will offer itself up to uh, give you another option to do something else. So uh, first things first, I need to add the wait action. So we'll put that at the end and I'll wait about five seconds. Next, I want to show a notification so that um, shortcuts lets us know that we can come back and do more things. So I'll add an action called show notification. And the notification title, let's just say, return to shortcuts for more options. Okay, and after I return by tapping the notification, I want to run the one wheel menu again. Now I actually need to add something here that says wait to return. Otherwise it tries to run again before you've come back. So let me add that wait step, wait to return. And finally we'll end with run shortcut. And again, we'll choose OW menu. And that should do the trick. I think so that we don't run into an endless loop, I do want to give us an out. So I'll go back up to the menu and let's say, we just want to say, hey, I'm good. Let's, let's stop with the notifications and, and running uh, the one more menu. So I'll add a new item. We'll call this, I'm good, thank you. That's cool. And the steps I want to do inside of there, uh, I wanna stop the shortcut from running. So uh, I'll do that, but let's do it in a fun way. So we'll go into search Giphy, okay? All right, stick with me here. This is just, we're doing this for fun. So under I'm good, thanks. We're gonna search Giphy for one wheel gifts. Um, all right. And instead of showing the gift picker, let's just get the top 10 one wheel gifts. 
whatever the top 10 are at any given time. No, let's do get item from list. And I want to get a random one. So let's get a random item from these 10 gifts. And then we're gonna show a final notification. that says float safely. And the attachment for this notification will be our GIF. And so it says item from list, that's exactly right, that's what we want. All right, and finally, so that it stops continuing, we need to add one more step that says exit shortcut. This is stopping our endless loop. Um, all right, shortcut's got a little glitchy with me, I think. All right, yeah, I wanna exit after showing the notification. Actually don't need it to have any attachments at all so uh, I'll just hit delete on the keyboard good all right so we've built everything step by step I'm gonna run this on the phone and I'll show you how it looks in a recording okay I have my phone now and a short cable to work with so just know I'm running this on my phone I'll tap on my new shortcut one wheel menu and let's test it so I'll open the one wheel app App opens, my board's not on, but I pair it. And then it gives me that notification that allows me to tap and come back. And now it's giving me an option to do something different. So I'll hit play new music mix. So this actually will play right away. And I had to do open and music app in order to get it, get me out so that it offers the notification to get back in. Now, I missed a notification because I was talking, but if I slide back, still good. All right, pair AirPods. So let me open my AirPods. And right now, the AirPods are paired with my iPad and I wanna get them over to my phone, so I'll just tap on AirPods. and it's doing its thing. I guess for this one, I didn't need to add the wait step because it only uh, progresses if it actually successfully pairs your AirPods. So this was good. And maybe now I wanna get bike path direction so I can tap on that. It's asking me where to, and I can type it here, which is neat. So maybe I wanna go to Haynes Point. That's where, uh, Bruce Utus and the crew uh, do demo days for a one wheel, which is super cool. So I type Haynes Point, hit OK. Boom, it takes me right to Google Maps to get that uh, bike path directions. And then I can return to shortcuts again. And if I'm totally done here, I can hit I'm good, thanks. Let's see how that Giphy thing works. So it push a notification says float safely. If I pull that straight down, it actually, again, showed a random one little GIF. And, uh-oh, it did not exit the shortcut. <laughs> All right, there we go. I did it correctly this time. All right, just like that. You see, even this time, it gave me a brand new video to look at, which is super neat. Um, and really the last trick is to set it up to run with M NFC. And in order to run it with NFC, I tap on automation and I hit the plus and I create a personal automation. This one, we ask it to run on an NFC tag tap. And um, basically I just take one of those little NFC tokens and I probably have one handy here. Yeah, let me grab one. Yeah, I ordered these from Amazon. They come in this little bag. 
and I used the the 3M grippy stuff to kind of adhere it to my board. Uh, the kind that's kind of like Velcro, but it's actually hard on both sides. You can link to that on Amazon too. But this is all it is, just a little token. And when I hit scan, it'll ask me to put the tag near my phone, and I can do that. And I give that tag a name. Let's call this OW menu. Hit OK. And next. So here it wants me to tell it like what actions do you want me to run when I come in contact with this tag. And I just want to tell it to run the shortcut that we just created. So run shortcut and I'll look for OW menu. And that's it. I don't want it to ask me before running, I just want it to do it. So I'll hit don't ask and I'll hit done. And now I'll just put my phone on the tag. Um, I typically put it on like the top half here. And all right, let me get out, see if it works. Boom, just like that. So it launched right into um, my shortcut. And all I had to do was tap it. I didn't have to go through any of the apps. So I might be on my home screen, chilling, scan the tag. I'm right in my app. How cool is that? I mean, get excited. Oh, I think this is super cool. <laughs> uh, no, seriously, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I actually have like far more in my actual one wheel menu app. So um, as you can see on my phone screen now, I actually play music in a variety of different places. Maybe I want my music to launch in SoundCloud. I can do that. Um, have a couple other shortcuts that I like that I link to. Um, my Go Ride shortcut has presets for a lot of the places that we meet up in DC, and it just gets me automatically. Uh, it, it sets it up so I get the bike path directions to those places right away. Uh, again, we communicate on Telegram often, and so. Um, I'll use Telegram to find other one-wheel riders in the area, and then we'll go and meet up. And then, um, usually when I'm charging, I'll go into my YouTube Watch Later playlist and just kind of catch up on some of those videos. And sometimes I'll take notes about those videos in Notion. <laughs> All those steps, I think you have a, enough with what I showed you in this video to kind of figure it out. But I'm really considering making a shortcuts course that guides you through everything top to bottom so you can really get the most out of this. If that's something that you'd like to see, let me know that in the comments. Really hope you enjoyed this video. It was a labor of love. And uh, again, friends, thank you. And I'll see you out here on the streets <laughs> floating on a single wheel. Be safe, y'all. Peace.